If you've ever read a story, put it down, sighed, and thought, mm, I wish I could do that. Or read a story and thought, I could do that. And you ever wanted to try, this course is for you. I have been published now for about 24 years, and I've been writing for 32 years. I started at zero. <laughs> I do not come from a literary background. I did not know how to even begin. But over the years, I've found my way and I've established a successful writing career. I make a nice income and every week, almost every week, somebody asks me to mentor them. So I developed this course to help people out. I'm going to give you all the secrets that I wish I had known when I was starting out in my publishing journey. You can do this. You can get published. You can get your work out there and start establishing your writing career. And I'm going to give you the tools how. And I've made pretty well every mistake you can imagine in the course of my uh, career. And the good thing is, None of them will break you. Like, okay, you might think, oh, my career is over. Nope. You can recover from almost any mistake. You just have to keep going. You have to believe in yourself. And you have to believe in your stories and the things that you want to share with with the world. Okay, so what I did was I, just, I divided this course up into 11 easy-to-digest modules. Now, each of the modules are very short. Um, none of them are much more than half an hour. Some of them are much less. It depends on the subject that I'm dealing with. And I developed them in an order, a logical order that will lead to you sending your work out to agents, to publishers, and trying to get published. Now, the first module I decided to focus on was voice. Now, voice is that um, elusive quality of confidence in the person's writing that when you read it you just want to go along on the journey on the story in the story it's 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 really important and the the more you practice writing the more you will develop your own unique voice it comes down to your own personal style now the second module is called story structure and what because the thing is a lot of people struggle with basic story structure. When you have basic story structure, you will have a better chance of getting your work published because there's a better chance of it working as a story. Like a story has a certain framework to it. And that's what I'm going to, to deal with in the second module. Out of all of the modules, this is the only one that really you would have to watch. The others, you could actually use them as podcasts and take notes while you're doing something else. Now, the third module is character. I mean, without interesting characters, you've got no one to really carry your story. We have to care about the characters. We have to be able to understand both the protagonist and the antagonist, the hero and the villain. And in order to do that, I give you some different uh, exercises that you can apply to your work to make your, your characters more relatable. Now, the fourth module is setting. A lot of people dismiss setting as, oh, it's just like uh, where it's happening. But it's more than that. Well, setting is actually also the cultural mindset. Uh, think Bridgerton. Think of some of the, the um, historical fiction where the culture and the mindset is part of the setting. And I come at it because I come from a different uh, culture. I come from a mar marginalized culture. So for me, it was always really apparent, the whole cultural paradigm that people would set a story in. And I'm gonna deal with that. Uh, I, mean, I mean, setting can actually lend a huge amount of drama to your story. It can actually almost be like another character. Now, the fifth one is plot. Plot is actually really important. Uh, I talk about the seven basic plots. Basically, you can take any story in existence and slot it into one of the seven basic plots. And within the seven basic plots, there's usually um, plot points that certain things like pinch and, you know, the, the first the inciting incident and all that kind of stuff. And I deal with that in the handout afterwards, like more I deal with it in the handout and the assignments. Now, <clears throat> module six is theme. Theme, think of theme as like the gem at the heart of your story. If you don't have a theme, okay, if your story is just 
all action packed adventure or just comedy it's it's going to be infinitely forgettable so you you need to have some kernel something you're trying to explore at the heart of your story now you can't deal with it in a heavy-handed way but it has to be there and we're going to talk about theme as well now the seventh module here i start getting into the marketing aspects you the other all from module one to six are all dealing with craft that you you have to um develop your craft as a writer because remember there's a lot of people out there who are trying to be writers and who are trying to get published and you're competing with them you have to develop and that competition actually makes it better because it makes you work harder and it, you, you work to dig deeper develop better stories and then you will rise to the top but in module seven you have to actually start uh, preparing your work for marketing and for publishing okay now so number seven I talk about writing groups it's very important to get feedback you cannot write in a vacuum you have to get feedback you don't know what you don't know and many minds are better than one so when you pre when you put your work out there in the writing group I'm going to talk about the do's and the don'ts and the things you need to be aware of there's certain drawbacks also to writing groups that I mean experiences that you might have that could be detrimental so I'm going to cover that in module 7 in module 8 we will tackle query letters I know querying is hard it's hard to actually put yourself out there and and prepare for rejection because you're going to get rejected everybody gets rejected and I always say that rejection is part of the process you're gonna get rejected you just have to brush yourself you only uh, often keep going you only need one one yes you're gonna get no's but you only need one yes and follow the yeses and you will develop your writing career now module 9 I deal with agents these days you basically need an agent and there's hundreds of them out there there's agents for every genre of writing and I will give you the resources especially in the handout like all of the modules come with a handout which includes an assignment any additional information that I didn't cover in the video and um, and resources like links and things you can check out um, in the agents module I have links to where you can find an agent and, and advice on how to approach the agents and how to query them. Now module 10 is finding a publisher. Whether you have an agent or not, you can still approach publishers in different venues. So I talk about approaching a publisher and getting your work seen, where you can do that. Now module 11 is kind of a bonus <laughs> um, because the thing is, it's so easy to let all of this stuff that I'm talking to you about feel overwhelming and you have to remember to have fun to you when you are having fun writing if you're engaged if you're intensely into the story the chances are your reader will be so I talk about having fun don't forget to have fun that's the 11th module now like I said all of the modules come with uh, a PDF and a PDF handout, including an assignment and further resources. Now, if you're ready, sign up.